Hello and welcome to this video lecture series on microwave tubes. In the last couple of videos we have tried to understand limitations of conventional vacuum tubes such as triodes, tetrodes and pentodes and we observed that beyond certain frequency due to these limitations vacuum tubes are not useful at higher frequency. So we have to have special class of tubes which are useful at microwave frequency. So we have two categories one is a linear beam tubes and other is crossed field tubes. So in the category of linear beam tube we have first tube called as a two cavity klystron tube which is generally used as a microwave amplifier. So in this video we will try to understand constructional details and working of this two cavity klystron tube as a microwave amplifier. About constructional details this tube has got two cavities hence the name two cavity klystron amplifier. It has got cathode so cathode has got supply voltage V0 then we have in this tube anode which is used for focusing purpose then the buncher cavity RF signal input is given to this buncher cavity then second cavity is a catcher cavity RF signal out is taken up, taken from this cavity then collector the job of collector is to collect the electrons when they have given up their energy converted their kinetic energy in form of an electromagnetic energy and those electrons will be collected by collector. The spacing between grids for two cavities since both cavities are identical cavities so their separation of grid is small d reference point is 0 this separation is small d the distance between two cavities buncher and catcher cavities is capital L and this separation is called as a drift space. So when electrons enter this cavity and coming out of this cavity at this point so they would have traveled the distance d. When electron reach to the catcher so they will have traveled this distance L plus this distance d so L plus d and when they come out of the catcher cavity so they would have traveled the distance L plus D plus this D so L plus 2 D so this is distance scale time scale is very very important at time instance T0 electrons entering the buncher cavity at time instance T1 electrons are coming out of the catcher cavity at time instance T2 electrons entering the catcher cavity and at time instance T3 electrons are coming out of the catcher cavity. So these are the constructional details. V of T1 is the velocity of electrons when they come out of the buncher cavity and that is the modulated velocity. Because of the presence of RF signal, few electrons will accelerate their velocity and few will decelerate their velocity. So that velocity is expressed with this V of T1 and because of velocity modulation there is current modulation I of T1. So after discussing the constructional details now let us try to understand how this tube is going to amplify the microwave signal. Once we have given this DC supply voltage so electrons would be generated and they will start to travel towards buncher cavity with the velocity v0 which is 0.593 into 10 to the power 6 under root v0. So this with this velocity electrons will enter the buncher cavity. So once they enter buncher cavity there is RF signal present. During positive half cycle and during negative half cycle electrons velocity will change this because this is this would be an alternating voltage so the electron velocity changes 
when electrons enter in the buncher cavity so when electron interact with the maximum positive peak of the rf signal so the picture would be something like this which we will discuss in our upcoming lectures but just to tell you about the velocity modulation the electrons which interact with the zero magnitude of rf signal will travel with the same velocity which was v0 electrons which interact with the positive cycle of rf signal they will travel faster than earlier velocity and electrons in interact with the negative cycle of rf signal will travel with the slower velocity so some electrons decelerate their velocity some electrons will accelerate their velocity and after traveling certain distance they would form a bunch after traveling certain distance they would form a bunch so detailed analysis of the bunching process and velocity modulation we are going to discuss in our upcoming videos so the conclusion is that v0 is the velocity with which electrons have entered to the buncher cavity but because of the presence of rf signal in the buncher cavity electrons will change their velocity and they will come out of from buncher cavity and after traveling certain distance the bunch of electrons would be formed and if this bunch of electrons or the bunch electrons are going to induce current into the output cavity and if that current if that current let us call current induced is v2 and the rf signal is having some let us say some signal vs is rf signal whose amplitude is v1 and current induced in the output cavity is i2 and voltage drop because of that cavity is v2 and if this v2 is greater than v1 which is the input signal and this is output voltage input voltage and output if output voltage is greater than v1 then one can say the amplification is being done so how this amplification would be achieved means how the voltage drop in the output cavity would be more so it depends on the quality of bunching so maximum degree of bunching will result into the maximum current induction and that will result into the maximum voltage drop in the output structure so more and more output voltage will be taken out from this cavity and higher gain would be achieved so that is the principle so the principle of operation is velocity modulation so in nutshell i will just try to demonstrate you what is the principle of operation of this tube or any microwave tube rather first electron receives energy from dc beam voltage so electrons will receive energy from this dc beam voltage convert this energy into their kinetic energy so electrons start to move then bunches are formed by either acceleration or deceleration because electrons will move and they interact with the rf signal so their bunches will be formed some electrons will accelerate their velocity and some will decelerate their velocity and since electrons are in bunches so these bunch electrons induce current into the output structure so high amount of current would be induced and result of that higher voltage drop would be appear then these electrons will give up their kinetic energy to the microwave fields in this particular cavity and then electrons will be collected by collector so this is how is called as principle of velocity modulation and on this principle all microwave tubes are working so we have discussed about two cavity klystron amplifier the principle is velocity modulation and how the 
maximum gain would be achieved that is only with the help of maximum degree of bunching or efficient bunching so for that there are two control parameters one is the grid spacing and another is the spacing between buncher and catcher cavity so related to this we will discuss in our upcoming videos so that we will understand how the maximum gain can be achieved and at what distance two cavities can be placed and what is the role of grid spacing in the two cavity cliston amplifier thank you